Hello and welcome, dear participants. We would like to take the opportunity today to talk about the IEC 80s General Meeting in Frankfurt. My name is Kerstin Sun and I am working as Standardization Manager in the DKE. Our speaker today is my colleague, Mr. Thomas Sentko. He is part of the organizing team and he can give us some detailed information of the IEC General Meeting. Thomas, can you say a few words about yourself, please? Thank you, Kerstin. Um, my name is Thomas Sentko and I'm working in the International Department of um, the DKE. I'm taking care about uh, IEC issues, that means I'm um, taking care about the management uh, committees of the IEC and um, I'm involved in the organization as well and um, yeah, I, I think I can give you some more details about this, about this general meeting. Thank you, Thomas. Every event starts with the registration. Thomas, can you tell us how this is organized during the general meeting? Yeah, this time it's a little bit special because we have two events running. So we have the regular IEC general meeting, which is, by the way, the 80s here in Frankfurt and um, the first time in Frankfurt. And this is um, the, the registration is done via the IEC registration system. So you can find this on the IEC website on uh, the bottom right corner. There is a registration form and you have to fill it in. This is um, for the um, so-called technical experts working in committees, uh, working groups, uh, project teams and so on. And you have to register through this uh, page and the national committee has to give you the accreditation to take part in the, in the meeting. On the other hand, we have this time the reinvention laboratory. This is a kind of conference with um, lots of uh, presentations, uh, fish bowls, other meetings. Um, discussions that take place in the fourth floor of our um, conference center and therefore you have to register via an email address so if you're not already registered via the IEC general meeting uh, website uh, but you want to take part in the reinvention laboratory as a audience then or take part uh, actively in the in the reinvention lab then you have to register via the IEC 2016 at vde.com email address and uh, you have to mention your name, your company, your city, country and of course the email address will be provided anyway. So um, yeah, and the date when you want to take part. Okay, to have that clear, uh, this means the national delegates who have registered themselves with the meeting registration system uh, for a technical committee meeting they have to be approved by their respective um, national committee. Yeah, is, that's is what right. we call accreditation. So it's done by the national committee and then you are a delegate of your, of your country and you are allowed to take part in the, uh, in the meeting, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this sounds like a big event. Is it possible to get any information in an easy way and to communicate in an easy way with other experts? Yeah, that's also something new um, we created for the uh, IEC community. So we bought an app and we um, adopted it for the for the IEC and for, for our meeting, uh, including the reinvention lab. So we said there are more than 3000 people coming to um, to Frankfurt and it, it's, it's much nicer to get in contact uh, when you know who's there. And so the motto of the um, IEC general meeting is uh, connecting communities, reinvent standardization. And for connecting communities, it's essential in modern times to have some kind of app. So we uh, designed this app for um, iOS, for uh, Android and for uh, HTML. And so you are able to get in contact with the other experts that uh, registered in, uh, in, in the meeting and uh, in the app. And it helps you to um, guide you through all the meetings. You can have your own agenda there. And of course, you get all the information about the reinvention lab. So maybe we'll take a look at the, at the feature in details. So um, of course, you can get in contact. That's what I said already. Um, it's messaging. So you have a, a direct contact to others. And you can um, yeah, just meet them. In addition, we have uh, all the information about our so social media activities. 
So there is an activity feed where you can post photos, where you can uh, give feedback uh, to the other uh, members. And of course you can post photos uh, like on Instagram and uh, you can say, hey, I'm here in the meeting, everything is fine. Or uh, look at this crazy uh, revolution we are doing in RTC and so. So um, this is something something new. Okay, sounds great. So, so the whole event is located in Frankfurt downtown. How can one reach this place? Yeah, so Frankfurt uh, has an international airport. The international airport is uh, called the Fraport, which is pretty close to Frankfurt. About 15, 20 minutes, um, um, depends if you take a taxi for about 30 euros, or you can also take public transport. It takes a little bit longer, but you can uh, take the S-Bahn, uh, it's the S8, Uh, going directly from the Fraport to the main station in uh, in Frankfurt downtown. Um, by the way, I have to say that there is a, a, a YouTube video um, which can be found on our Twitter channel, or uh, I think it's on the homepage of the IEC as well, where you can uh, find some more details about public transport in uh, in Frankfurt. So Frankfurt is an international hub. Uh, so you, mostly you can have uh, direct flights to Frankfurt or connecting flights from all other cities all around the world. But I think we should mention that you have to be careful. It's Frankfurt am Main. Ah. There is another Frankfurt in Germany. So please be yeah, aware yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry for not mentioning this. Uh, so it's called Frankfurt am Main. Uh, we have another Frankfurt in eastern part of Germany, about 800 kilometers away. So it's better to look twice. Uh, that you have the right Frankfurt, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, all the informations um, or more informations you can get also on the app. Um, yeah. Now, there are some meeting venues. Where are they located? Can you tell us some more about that? Yeah, we, we try to concentrate every um, meeting in the middle of Frankfurt. Uh, we didn't expect so much experts to come to Frankfurt, so we are, I said it already, more than 3,000 experts now uh, coming to Frankfurt, so we had to have some more rooms um, aside the, um, the, the locations we uh, have on this slide here. So uh, to start, the, the main building, is uh, the main venue is uh, Cup Europa. It's um, walking distance to the main station, and uh, this, is, this is where all the... Uh, management meetings take place uh, where we have the reinvention lab and where lots of TC and uh, working group meetings take place. Um, very close to this uh, central venue it's the Congress Center and the Maritime Hotel where you also have some, some meeting rooms and uh, meetings takes place. And of course our um, uh, VDE premises where the DKE is located there are um, some meeting rooms booked so you can take the tram from uh, the uh, Cup Europa to the VDE building and um, yeah or you can have a walk it's only 1.5 kilometers. There are some external meetings um, so we, we got some invitations from um, from companies um, associated with uh, the VDE and the DKE and some international uh, ones and they invited some, some TCs and working groups so uh, if you're not sure, take a look at the app, but of course you can ask the, the staff member, the volunteers, uh, how to get to this, uh, to this meeting. Yeah. And there are transfers to the meeting venues that are located outside the campus? Yeah, not, not, not to all of the meetings. The, the smaller ones um, you have to take care of on your own, but um, the larger ones they have bus transfers. Or, Okay. So on the next slide we see um, the main venues. So we have the Cup Europa, which is a very modern and very new um, building, um, about four floors high, so it's a very large one. Uh, then we have the Congress Center, which is this uh, round building uh, close to the Cup Europa. And then you see in the middle our VDE premises. And of course all the uh, venues Uh, you can find on the app. You can also have direction sketches in the app and uh, yeah, you can find it there. Yeah, to get easily from one location to another, there is a kind of gadget <laughs> we, we asked for. 
and we booked at that uh, so-called Velo taxi. And um, so, yeah, you can just take this this Velo taxi and maybe give the driver a euro or two, and um, he will hand you a smile for this. But they are only on the IEC campus. Yeah, um, it's just from the Cup Europa. Europa. Yeah, from Cup Europa to um, the other both hotels. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. So um, nutrition is an important thing to preserve, persevere the meetings. Yes, uh, according to the blue book, uh, we are um, not able to provide any any lunch um, or dinner to the experts. Uh, if you calculate it uh, with three thousand experts, so it was unaffordable even for the German National Committee. So. Um, there are some um, places where you can have your um, your lunch, and um, in the Cup Europa and the Maritime Hotel, so it's pretty easy because there is a very large mall where you have lots of um, different restaurants, and uh, uh, you can have your catering there. Of course, you will get water and coffee in the meeting rooms, so this is not a problem. But maybe we have to mention the 3rd of October, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it's our national holiday, it's on um, Monday and um, so in, at the 3rd of October we take care about the lunch of our experts here um, in the VDE building, so this is not a problem then. Mm -hmm. Okay, and on this map we you see that there is a large choice of different restaurants in Frankfurt downtown near the venues. Yeah, you can. We, we, we sorted them according to uh, the price level, or you can just go to the uh, to the app, and uh, you will have a link to a Google Maps uh, where you have all the details about this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if there is someone who attends the meeting spontaneous, mm -hmm. um, are there still hotel rooms available? Well, it's pretty close to the meeting right now. Um, if you don't have a hotel reservation right now, so it's better to go to this um, these links mentioned on the slide. So there is a Frankfurt Tourismus office, which is a, some kind of convention center where you can get some uh, help to, to find a, uh, a space for the, for the night. Uh, of course, you can also refer to the Murray team, but uh, the later you come, the, the higher will be the prices, so this is might be a problem. Okay. Okay. Yes, and um, then um, the experts need to get their badges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so we, there are, we have different places uh, where you can have your, your badge. In the first week, which is about to end now, when we uh, talk in, about this, about this uh, presentation, uh, it's in, inside of the VDE uh, building and next week um, it starts at the Maritime Hotel and during the main week beginning on Sunday it, um, the uh, registration desk is uh, located in the Cup Europa for the rest of the week. And there are different colors so um, your badge has a, a, a point uh, on it and the color is referred to your um, accreditation status so you s normally you get a white one as a delegate and uh, you can see the the purple ones are the guys from the from the hotel uh, no not from the hotel from the host <laughs> committee sorry for <laughs> this um, and the sponsors and yes the red ones are the organizers and of course we have young professional meeting as well and uh, they have a green button. And last but not least, the IEC officers and staff, they have a, a blue button. And you, when you bring your partner with you, uh, you he, will, he or she will have a, a yellow button. Okay. Okay. Now we have already heard that there will be a few special and new things for this general meeting. Can you tell us some more about this? Yeah. So, um, as I already mentioned, the reinvention laboratory is something which is different to um, the, the, the regular IEC general meetings. Um, I will talk about this a little bit later. Um, if you're looking for this re reinvention lab, or the hashtag is relab, um, then you have to go to the fourth floor of the um, Cup Europa, and then you can find there some 
panels, presentations, discussion, and so on. Um, what's also new is, of course, the um, meeting app, and you can go social with uh, with this app. So you can do something like Twitter and um, Facebook with this with this app. What's also new is uh, the TC of the future. TC of the future is uh, synonymous for uh, what what can be done different in the IEC. So there will be uh, a booth for this where you can get some more information about um, how to do different in, in IEC standardization. And what's also new is the IEC Broadcasting Center. So we said it would be worth to um, do some recordings during the week and we also do some streaming. So that means that you um, can follow the uh, discussions and the uh, panels in the Reinvention Lab live on YouTube. And we will announce this uh, on our Twitter channel and on the IEC General Meeting homepage, which is already running, up and running. Yes. Okay, so this means that experts who can't be in Frankfurt have the possibility to participate in this general meeting virtually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what we wanted to establish, some kind of um, yeah, providing the, the IEC feeling that you when you get when, that you that you get when you when you meet all the experts from about 60 uh, nations worldwide and um, to, to provide some some atmosphere that uh, you can also feel a little bit as a participant even if you are not uh, able to travel to Frankfurt. That's the idea behind okay. this. Mm -hmm. And can you tell us more about the Reinvention Laboratory Arena? This sounds very exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's a, um, it's a large room on the fourth floor of um, the Cup Europa. And you see it here on the slides. There will be this arena where all the presentations and panels and discussions will take place. Uh, it has a space for about 300 uh, people sitting around uh, the stage. And of course, there are the booths of the um, um, sponsors that uh, enables us to do this general meeting in Frankfurt. Yes, and the opening is at uh, one o'clock on uh, on Monday, so at the tenth. Um, there is a, a small um, yeah, procedure, and uh, yeah, and there's, there's some cutting knives, whatever. So this will be a good place to spend some free time during the meetings and get into discussion about the future of standardization, to network and just meet interesting people. Yeah, that's the idea behind this. Um, so we have slots. I think it's too small to see on the video, but you can go to the IC um, website and take a look at the journal's meeting site and then click on the right. There is a tab for uh, the reinvention lab. And they can find detailed information what's going on in the reinvention lab. There are lots of lots of slots that you uh, can participate if you have uh, some time between your your technical meetings. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the fourth floor of the reinvention lab, there is also a booth uh, of a project called TC of the Future. Uh, TC of the Future gives you uh, some information about um, how we can deal with digital transformation. So what you see there is uh, online collaboration uh, with existing tools. So um, it might be much easier for you to uh, create an agenda without meeting in person uh, or to create um, the uh, deliverable of the meeting, the report of the meeting, the notes of the meeting um, during the meeting. That's, that's the idea behind this. So you can work together on a document or even an, in a, uh, on a standard document. So um, feel free to uh, visit this, this booth. What you also see there is um, the future of web conferencing. So we will have some trials uh, the next week here in the uh, VDE building and um, you can see um, how it worked out and uh, we, will, we will give you some more information about this. And last but not least, it's about virtual and augmented reality meetings. Uh, sounds a little bit like witchcraft uh, at the moment, but might be reality in the future. So uh, additionally, we will have some uh, sessions of in the uh, reinvention lab about work 4.0, which is um, um, the, 
the word for or the, the message for um, how we work in the future and which tools and which practices we uh, can provide for this. So um, I already told you uh, that we will have a broadcast center and we will um, do uh, broadcasting uh, from the general meeting um, to YouTube and to the IFC um, website. So you can take a look um, what's going on there because the, the colleagues are working um, transparent so you can just look over their shoulders how they do social media, how they uh, put taxes on the home page, how they produce videos and how this uh, streaming works. So maybe this is the best time to refer to the to the IEC website, which is IEC2016.org. And if you are on social media, media um, like for example Twitter or Facebook, then you can also follow the hashtag Relab or the hashtag IECGM16, and then you can get all information. And I would like to uh, recommend to use your uh, Twitter and Facebook um, profiles to uh, provide information about the IEC general meeting uh, to the other experts and to the to the rest of the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Please use the opportunity to visit us in the Cup Europa. You are warmly invited to be part of the reinvention lab, mm -hmm. and moreover, the business center and the help desk are located in the fourth floor of the Cup Europa. Yes. Yes. Um, so if you need any kind of support, then you can. Uh, refer also to the uh, to the fourth floor. There's an information desk. There is a Twitter wall where you can see the social media activities, and uh, don't forget to visit the sponsors as well. Okay. And besides all these meetings with technical and organizational discussions, meetings in a relaxing atmosphere are also very important for such general meetings. Which social events are planned, Thomas? Yeah. Um, so social events, we have some of them. So it's of course the great opening, and at the end of the week there is the the farewell. So the uh, Festhalle Frankfurt is the location for the opening, which is pretty close to to the venues. Um, the Palmengarten, it's a the German word for a garden where you can find uh, some exotic plants, and it, this is about two kilometers away. From, from the venue and we will provide a bus transfer uh, after finishing the council and the council open session. But maybe one word to this uh, social events. Uh, social events, it's, it's not about party, it's really about connecting communities. So um, what, I can, what I can say uh, from my personal experience is that you need these evenings um, to come to a consensus much, much easier the next day. So this is... Uh, why we do these uh, social events. Okay, Monday and uh, Friday. And you need to register for these events as well. So that's important. Other social events do we have? Uh, we have for the TCSC chair and secretaries a, a networking event on Tuesday. Of course, you have to register for this. Um, the Lord Kelvin Award um, will be um, a highlight this year for the German National Committee of the IEC because we have a uh, German awardee, um, Mr. Uwe Kampert, he will um, receive this award, which is uh, provided or given by the council board. And it's uh, not every year um, this Lord Kelvin Award is given to, to a, a, an expert. And therefore, we are very honored to um, have Mr. Kampert in our national committee. On the Wednesday, there is the dinner for NC President and NC Secretaries, for them only. And uh, this will be at the uh, Klassikstadt, which is um, a venue where you have some old cars, historical cars. Um, and in this um, area, we, we will have uh, a dinner for NC Presidents and NC Secretaries. Uh, for the youngsters in the IEC, our young professionals, uh, we have a workshop going from Monday to Wednesday in the Cup Europa. And what else do we have? Conference for the MSB. Yes, um, there will be a conference about challenges and opportunities um, of the Internet of Things, which is 
very interesting because um, the internet is everywhere. And then of course we have some events regularly taking place in the general meeting in Frankfurt. Uh, we will have a, a workshop for industrializing countries because we have all the IEC affiliates also um, there. And last but not least, we will have a council open session. Um, the, the council statutory is a closed uh, session only for the um, full members of IEC, for their representatives, where all the elections take place. And at the Friday, Friday um, p.m., there will be the open session where we will have the results of the reinvention lab um, at the general meeting as well. Okay, and then there are some technical visits. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, at this time, um, close to the um, general meeting, they were already fully booked, but you can refer to the information counter. Maybe there is a, a free place, uh, but we already have a waiting list for this. Um, so better go to the reinvention lab and then uh, <laughs> waiting for an event which is booked out already. Yeah, and last but not least, we would like to recommend to visit two other events taking place in parallel to the IC general meeting. There is a uh, meeting for professors and teachers, uh, which is um, called the ISIS um, um, conference. And if you have questions about this, you can refer to our um, mail address given uh, at the last slide. And we have a telecommunication congress. Uh, it's about next generation mobile networks. Um, in some countries it's called 5G. And this is also taking place in parallel to the IEC general meeting. If you have questions regarding this and how to register, then you can refer to our Twitter channel or to our mail address IEC2016 at vde.com. And um, yeah, that's all the information I have so far. Yes, now we have given you all the important information on the IEC general meeting in Frankfurt am Main. Mm -hmm. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact us with the shown mail address or the Twitter account, as Thomas already said. We are willing to answer all questions fastly. So we are looking forward to your participation in the IEC general meeting and um, meeting you personally. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to uh, welcome you all in my hometown Frankfurt. So uh, I hope to see you uh, personally in Frankfurt. Bye bye. Welcome to Frankfurt. Welcome. Bye bye.